Hello, Brian Davis, Home Improve Man. I'm going to show you how to finish baseboard uh, when it ends out at the end, at the, in the open. Normally when baseboard ends, it's in a corner, it's on an edge, and so it's easy enough just to finish it off there. But as you can see here, we have the, the uh, edge just exposed. Now, the, the easy way to do it is just to stain the edge and then be done with it. But there's a more attractive way, a more effective way to finish off this edge right here against the wall. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that we need to do is we need to cut this back at a 45 degree angle. Now, of course, I, I cut this to size, not just to illustrate one way to finish it, because whenever, but whenever I am cutting uh, angles on the saw, I always cut the length that I want it to first, and then I'm able to find that 45 degree angle a little bit more effectively. And so, first thing of course you wanna do is set the saw at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to start out with the saw blade out wide and then walk the cutting edge in until the edge finds the, the correct length. And you'll see what I mean. And I can actually take a little bit more off there, so I'm going to go a little bit tighter on that. There we go, there's a tight corner. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is cut a, a small section that has a 45 degree angle on it so that I can bring the two together like so. And I, I cutting out a, a piece that's small that's basically a half inch thick is very difficult. So you always want to have something you can hold on to, have a little more wood that you can, you can connect to. So what I need to do, first of all, is this way. And then to finish it, to cut the piece off, I cut it straight right at the cut line. And I can, again, as I'm cutting it, I can walk it in and out um, to make sure that I get to exactly the spot I'm looking for. And so that is going to be our finished edge. Much more attractive than just the bare edge on the end. And so the way we hold that in place is that we glue it. Now if I were to use wood glue, it would take 24 hours to, to, uh, to, to set, and I would need to use clamps. So we're gonna use essentially crazy glue or super glue. Uh, I can't remember the, the scientific name for it, but it, it's a fairly common uh, adhesive, especially in woodworking. So the official name of the glue is cyanoacrylate, which, but you know it, I know it, as super glue or crazy glue. And when I use it when I'm working with wood, I use an activator to help, to help it set more quickly, because it'll set in about 15 seconds. So this uh, cyanoacrylate that I'm using is, is fairly thick, and so it, it's got good vis viscosity, and so it'll hold for a moment while I put it down. And then I apply the activator to the other piece. And then I put the two pieces together, keeping in mind the finished edge is going to be, oops, it just slipped. There we go. There it is. It's already setting. Oh, there, that's what it is. Um, trying to get the finished edges that'll be visible from the outside to be as clean as possible. I didn't do a great job on this bottom corner down here, but that's gonna be the least visible point. As long as this part up at the top here is clean, it's going to look just fine. And then 
it all set. There. Now the last thing I have to do is nail it into place, but you don't need to see that happening. That's basically finished. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.